Fellow Bergen County residents, for two years, we have lived through an unprecedented pandemic, one that has resulted in an unimaginable loss and left physical, emotional, and economic scars. For many, these scars may never heal. In memory of those over 3,000 residents who lost their lives to COVID and all those who have made the ultimate sacrifice serving our country, I ask you to join me in a brief moment of silence. Thank you. The good news is Burton County's rebound is speeding ahead. And while there is work to be done in our COVID recovery, we all can see the light at the end of the tunnel. In just the last month, we have seen a 95% drop in COVID infections. And since 2020's peak, we have worked tirelessly to get back to our pre-COVID lives. Working with our county-owned Bergen Newbridge Medical Center, we were able to administer over 300,000 COVID tests and 136,000 vaccinations to protect residents and slow the transmission rate so we could safely go to work, eat at our local restaurants, visit our local shops, and so much more. Our county vaccination rate is over 74%. Having a publicly county-owned hospital in our arsenal allowed us to respond in a way few others could. And it is one of the reasons they have garnered national recognition. Our response to the pandemic extended far beyond the reach of public health, however. Whether it was allocating a 12% increase in funding to our mental health partners, a historic investment in mental health services, administering an emergency rental assistance program to provide relief to hundreds of residents as state and federal moratoriums and assistance programs came to an end, or arming our food security task force with over half a million dollars to provide sustainability grants to community pantries so they remain well stocked we strategically used resources to respond to the needs of our residents. We understood the need to help small businesses. Working with federal officials to secure CARES Act funding, we distributed $55 million in grants to those small businesses that needed help the most. We administered federal funds to help working families who felt the brunt of the economic impacts providing rental assistance to tenants and tuition assistance to community college students to continue their education. For two years, we have done everything in our power to protect public health. For two years, we helped our economy weather this unimaginable storm. For two years, we have had our way of life turned upside down. And while we still must remain vigilant, after two years, I am here to tell you that we are no longer going to make every decision through the lens of COVID. Instead, as we enter endemic status, we are moving Bergen County forward and getting back to the priorities we pause when the pandemic hit and address new issues facing our residents and communities. Inflation is hitting all of us. Supply chain disruption and product shortages have caused drastic increases on prices of just about everything. While directly combating these issues are in the hands of federal officials, we are not going to sit idly by. Today, I am announcing the formation of the Consumer Protection Bergen Fights Back program to crack down on price gouging by predatory merchants. First, if anyone is a victim or believes a vendor is engaging in this behavior and illegally increase prices or selling counterfeit products, they should call our Consumer Protection Division hotline at 201-336-6400. Secondly, our Consumer Protection investigators will increase random enforcement patrols. Third, the county's divisions of weights and measures will in increase gas pump and waste scale testing, so you are getting what you paid for. Just as you and your family have made adjustments, government must do the same. 
My fiscal team is working tirelessly to keep taxes stable while continuing to provide the high quality services that our residents deserve. We have learned to do more with less and realize millions of dollars in savings by reducing the size of our workforce. We continue to realize savings for our residents through the aggressive and unrelenting pursuit of shared services with our 70 municipalities and 76 school districts across the county, of which we have at least one agreement with every town. The county's AAA bond rating was once again recertified, which in the last year alone has realized $10 million in savings for taxpayers and another $1 million to local towns. I am proud of the work we've done and our municipal partners to save residents money. And we're looking for every opportunity to do more. I encourage all our local towns and school boards to explore refinancing hike bond costs at low rates our AAA rating provides. This past year, we have also entered into new shared service agreements to house Passaic County inmates in our jail. This is the second significant shared service agreement we entered with our neighboring county. That will result in the direct savings for Bergen County taxpayers. As we continue to move Bergen County forward, I am excited about what's in store. In support of our local economy this year, we will launch a new program to foster sustainable growth for our mom and pop shops to help them compete and thrive in the post-pandemic economy. Working in partnership with Bergen Community College, Bergen County Economic Development has developed a data intelligence tool called SizeUp, helping business owners access key performance indicators to make informed decisions. This free program will help businesses find new customers, analyze their competition, and connect with no-cost business consulting. Through innovative initiatives like these, my administration continues to do all in its power to ensure that business community remains strong. I stand here today to say unequivocally that Bergen County is open for business and we continue to welcome all new businesses from Fortune 500 companies to minority women and veteran owned businesses. Bergen County stands ready to work with you. A great career starts with world-class education. My administration's commitment to education and Bergen Community College remains strong. In collaboration with the Board of Commissioners, we once again increase funding for the college for the eighth straight year, ensuring that our students have access to a diverse catalog of programs and courses, and also the financial aid and assistance that they may need. Bergen Community College has received praise from the highest levels, including renowned educator and community college advocate, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, who chose to visit Bergen Community College as a location to roll out a new White House education initiative, promoting community college affordability, which Bergen Community College has been on the forefront of. Accolades like these cement Bergen Communities College as the jewel in Bergen County's crown and truly one of the best community colleges in the nation. Our Bergen Technical School District includes two of the best high schools in the country and they are moving forward on a major New Jersey Department of Education grant for over $25 million to help construct a new career and technical education school here in Bergen County. This new school will bridge the gap between high school and post-secondary plans, providing a versatile curriculum that prepares students for their next step, whether that is working in the trades or attending a two or four year college program. Once open, the CTE school's curriculum will feature programs tailored to address shortages in high demand fields that will help our nation remain competitive in a 21st century global economy. 2022 marks the 75th anniversary of the Bergen County Parks Commission. 
a tribute to early visionaries who recognize the important role parks play in our community. The recreational opportunities here in Bergen County is vital to our great quality of life with something for everyone, young and old alike. In what is the most visible sign of our county's return to normal, last November, we welcome the return of Bergen County's winter wonderland to Vance on Park. After a year's hiatus, we were able to provide families once more with an outdoor winter activity fit for all ages and filled with holiday cheer. We did not stop there, however. In an effort to further expand winter programming, the county partnered with the Friends of the Bergen County Zoo to bring a spectacular lantern festival called Let It Glow, which dazzled tens of thousands of guests throughout the winter. Between both events, Vanson County Park saw a record-breaking winter attendance. Programming and events such as Winter Wonderland that truly make our parks a year-round attraction to be enjoyed by all. Using the 2019 Parks Master Plan as our roadmap, my administration is committed to improving and modernizing our park system to ensure our county's parks can be enjoyed by Bergen County residents for decades to come. We are underway on projects including the Ecological Restoration Project at Wild Duck Pond and the Teaneck Creek Conservancy to the renovation of the Darlington Driving Range, to the new boat launch at Van Buskirk Island County Park in Ordell. There is a project underway in every corner of Bergen County for both passive and active enthusiasts alike. One of our biggest investments is the ongoing revitalization of Riverside County Park in Southern Bergen County, which includes the construction of the Riverside County Park Rowing Center, as well as the new amphitheater and comfort station. Once completed, the new state-of-the-art rowing center will provide unprecedented access to the Passaic River, enabling a new generation to enjoy the waterfront as never before, while also providing instructional and community spaces. The new amphitheater and comfort station will serve as a focal gathering space with a community performance area to support music and movies in the park, as well as local events. When the final phase of the project is completed in the next couple of years, Riverside County Park will truly be the central park of South Bergen. This year, we will also bring improvements to our county's smaller pocket parks, which are vital for recreation and enjoyment of open space in densely populated areas or municipalities further away from our large anchor parks. A strong business community, great schools, recreational opportunities, and safe neighborhoods all make Bergen County a great place to live, work, and raise a family. With over 46 years of experience as a first responder, I understand how important it is to support our police officers, firefighters, and EMS responders who keep us safe. We are in the midst of a $16 million modernization project at our Law and Public Safety Institute. Once complete, we will have a world-class training facility for first responders, one of the finest in the tri-state region. This facility will ensure that first responders have the tools and training necessary to perform their duties at the highest level and are prepared to adapt in a constantly changing public safety environment. Safe communities include safe roads. That is why we have invested in improving Bergen County's infrastructure. Our Department of Planning and Engineering also took the lead on critical infrastructure projects on major county arteries, including ongoing construction of the Fairlawn Avenue Bridge bordering Passaic County, and, engineer, and the engineering phase of the Kingsland Avenue Bridge bordering Essex County. On top of all that, our cleanup from 
Hurricane Ida continues with bridge, culvert, and road repairs in over two dozen locations across Bergen. I am also excited to share positive news on a project I continue to fight for since taking office. The county recently secured an $850,000 grant to jumpstart a solution to the Route 17 bottleneck between Essex Street and Route 4 in Paramus. This critical roadway, which moves thousands of people and supports billions of dollars in interstate commerce, is one step closer to reality, thanks to the leadership role Bergen County is playing in this project. I also remain steadfast in my advocacy for the Hudson Light Rail to extend into Bergen County, which will create a key transit link for our residents and unlock further economic development in Bergen County. It is my hope that someday soon, the Hudson Light Rail will finally live up to its name and serve the residents of Bergen County. Infrastructure doesn't just mean roads and bridges, but digital infrastructure. While in Washington, the conversation about wireless upgrades continue, Bergen County's not waiting. We've embarked on a large-scale fiber optic broadband project that will link all county facilities via high-speed and reliable fiber service. This network will also bring broadband service right to the doorstep of all 70 municipalities. Our fiber optic network will bring high-speed connectivity to borough halls, libraries, and everything in between, helping reduce internet bills and provide other connectivity options, including Wi-Fi. As we enter 2022, we continue to explore opportunities to ensure Bergen County is a connected county so we can compete in today's high-tech world. 2021 was far from normal, but as I discussed, there was a lot to be proud of. With vaccinations available to all, we're able to safely reopen our county senior centers. While things are still slightly different, our residents in their golden years can once again socialize, be active, and resume the activities that they know and love, thanks to our dedicated senior center staff members. Once again, the county maintained our functional zero status for chronic and veteran homelessness, despite challenges over the last two years. This is a testament to the hard work of the Bergen County Housing Authority and our continuum of care partners. Our county shelter also transitioned to in-person operations, providing vital services to some of our most vulnerable residents under one roof again. We also found forever homes for over 2,500 homeless pets in Bergen County at the Bergen County Animal Shelter. These accomplishments, along with many others, could not be possible without the unwavering support, commitment, and dedication of our county employees. They are the engine that powers our county forward and drives our success and their hard work delivers high quality services to our residents every single day. You are all unsung heroes, and I know your efforts are making a difference in the everyday lives of our residents. As this COVID crisis has shown, leadership matters. As General Douglas MacArthur said, a true leader has confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. Over the last eight years, I've worked every day to strive for these qualities in my leadership of Bergen County government. Through our economic stability, commitment to our critical services, and our shared vision in realizing Bergen County's full potential, I am proud to report the state of our great county is strong, our future is bright. We are and will always be Bergen County strong. God bless our county and all of our residents. Thank you.